Hai guys, pada aware nggak sama isu virus corona? Pasti semua udah sempat bacakan atau paling nggak pernah denger lah tentang hebohnya virus corona ini. Dimana virus ini asalnya dari Wuhan, pertama kali ditemuin pada bulan Desember 2019. Dan sekarang itu korbannya baik yang meninggal dunia maupun yang terjangkit itu udah banyak banget. Dan akhirnya menimbulkan kekhawatiran bukan cuma di Indonesia tapi di seluruh dunia. Nah, baru-baru uh, ini juga ada yang lagi heboh nih, jadi tentang uh, katanya ada riset dari Harvard yang bilang sepertinya di Indonesia itu harusnya udah ada kasus corona, tapi mungkin tidak terdeteksi. Nah, ini tuh menimbulkan respon yang lumayan besar, terutama dari uh, Menteri Kesehatan kita yang merasa, oh ini penghinaan, kita juga dapat alat untuk deteksi coronanya itu dari Amerika Serikat, kenapa mereka menghina kita dan silahkan kalau mau datang silahkan datang kita terbuka dan tidak menutupi apa-apa nah kalau kalian mau tahu sebenarnya peneliti dari Harvard ini namanya Profesor Mark Lipsitch beliau adalah epidemiologis dari Harvard dan beliau melakukan riset namanya riset prediksi dengan uh, mathematical modeling intinya beliau melakukan linear regression model yang membandingkan antara uh, data of the traveling uh, volume from Wuhan dibandingin sama case counts by the high surveillance country berdasarkan studinya tersebut beliau memprediksi bahwa Indonesia nih uh, seharusnya udah punya lima case at least beliau juga dimention di beberapa koran misalnya di Jakarta Post atau di Tempo dan berhubung koran ini dalam bahasa Inggris akhirnya profesor ini sendiri dapat mengakses dan dapat melihat kalau ternyata oh nama saya ada di mana mana ya di Indonesia berhubung ini cukup heboh dan uh, berita di Indonesia cukup one-sided di mana kita nggak nggak pernah dengar dari profesornya ini sendiri. Sekarang aku punya kesempatan untuk mewawancara Profesor Mark Lipsitch di Harvard University. Hi Professor Mark. Yeah, okay. So uh, I have read your paper. So it's basically about predicting. The, um, the countries that may have undetected cases using the linear regression model. Yes. And I understand that it actually aims to uh, give caveats, to give warnings to the countries that have undetected cases to strengthen their uh, outbreak surveillance and control efforts. Yes. And um, But for some people who may have a uh, few experience in reading paper or translating the research study it may find like insulting or humiliating as you find in the newspaper yes i read that and like you are uh, like you seem uh, underestimating the capability of uh, indonesia for example in detecting the cases while well, you're actually not so uh, maybe you could explain in some words like um, what is the aim of your study and what is your uh, study doing like what is the conclusion and recommendation that actually you want to tell people Right. Mm -hmm. So the world is focused very heavily on the exported cases because yeah. it's believed that data from China are reflecting poor case ascertainment there. Mm -hmm. And so people are really trust counting on the rest of the world to detect cases mm -hmm. effectively and using those numbers to estimate what's actually happening in China. Mm -hmm. um, the purpose of our study was to look at whether uh, the detected cases were really representative of the total number of cases that might have been introduced. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> so to do that, we, uh, we examined the statistical relationship between the number of travelers to a mm -hmm. country, usually mm -hmm. a country location, and the number of cases that were detected. Mm -hmm. And so there was a sort of international average that about 14 travelers per day yeah. Uh, in historic data were associated with one detection of a case during the whole period that we studied, mm -hmm. so not just during one day. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and uh, by that standard, uh, Indonesia would have been expected to have five cases approximately, mm -hmm. but it had zero during that period. Yeah. Um, so uh, we didn't think about any one country when we started this, we were just looking at all the countries. Uh, and our goal was not to um, not to say something about the overall quality of a country or its mm -hmm. surveillance, but just to say, in this instance, given this situation, it seems that there should be cases detected, uh, and there haven't. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. um, so it was certainly nothing about Indonesia that started this. It <laughs> yeah. was that was a finding, not a not a starting point. Mm -hmm. um, we also pointed out that uh, Thailand had, although they man managed to detect many cases, mm -hmm. probably have many cases that they didn't detect. Mm -hmm. um, and as I've been working on this more, I've come to understand uh, that even Singapore, which has the highest detection frequency almost of any country, mm -hmm. meaning for the number of travelers they have, they found more cases than you would expect. Mm -hmm. uh, even they have also found that there are cases that they can't trace, mm -hmm. which means they must have missed some introductions. Mm -hmm. So missing introductions is not a, an insult. It's probably mm -hmm. true of every single country mm -hmm. um, or of very many countries. Uh, it's just a, a, a red flag. It's something that we need to be aware of and respond to. Yeah. Um, and as I've said to a number of people, what public health is supposed to do is, among other tasks, is to find potential problems mm -hmm. and signal them to people who can deal with them. Yeah. That doesn't mean every problem that's yeah. detected is a real one, but we have to we have to have some. Yeah, I read alarms. your tweet on that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, uh -huh. So, so the, again, the goal was to be constructive, and in that spirit, mm -hmm. uh, I have a few contacts in Indonesia. I shared that paper with them mm -hmm. before it was put on the web. I shared it with WHO before it was put on the web, mm -hmm. um, and I'm very open to sharing and trying to be helpful yeah. in the future. This is not meant as <laughs> any kind of a, a, an attack on one country. Yeah, okay. uh, would you mind if I move closer? So, okay. okay. Yeah, it's just. So, um, also, it is it's like maybe you have read in the newspaper that our Minister of Health, uh, Mr. Tarawan, uh, mentioned that we actually use the tools from the United States, we use the kit from the United States, and like we are open, there's nothing we are covering up. Is this some kind of response that you anticipated before when you're doing uh, the findings? I didn't, I, I, I didn't uh, anticipate exactly that response uh, mm -hmm. um, in the sense that. Uh, in no way did I did we imply <laughs> that this was covering something up. I yeah. think it, it it's a it appears from what I can understand of the press, and it's very confusing. Mm -hmm. uh, but my, from what I can understand from the press, the test kits did not arrive uh, in Indonesia until after the period, mm -hmm. or right at the end of the period, at least that we were studying. So, mm -hmm. if that's true, and if the test kits were the way you would test then that explains it. It's not a cover-up, it's a, it's a lack of testing. Mm -hmm. um, if I've since heard different things that there's another way of testing that wouldn't use the kits but would use some kind of sequencing, mm -hmm. and I don't, I don't know what to say about that. I don't, I'm not sure I understand what that is referring to, mm -hmm. but it's possible that some people were tested before. Um, but in any case, you'd have to do a lot of testing and people have to voluntarily come forward. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of steps uh, before you can detect yeah, even a few true. cases. So mm -hmm. uh, certainly there was no implication that, that this was deliberate. Okay. Um, I, I just have like two more questions. Yeah. So um, I understand that you are a very well-known epidemiologist and you must have done so many studies before and despite having the findings that uh, Indonesia may already have six cases or five cases, do you think it would be possible that we actually have zero case in our country? If it's, uh, if it's not possible, like what <coughs> have gone wrong? Uh, I think it's possible mm -hmm. because everything is possible mm -hmm. but may have a low probability. Um, our estimate is that the 95% prediction interval does not include zero, so it would, yeah. it would be quite unlikely is what that implies. <coughs> Having said that, the, the model is imperfect and, uh, and it's, it will make predictions that are not perfectly accurate. Mm -hmm. um, so I think uh, there could be zero cases. It would be very strange, mm -hmm. uh, particularly because even the countries that are finding many cases are probably also missing cases. Mm -hmm. So that means Indonesia might have more than five, because uh, <coughs> the five is based on what the other countries are detecting, and they may be imperfect as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I think uh, the question is, it could be that there are zero. Uh, I think that's very unlikely. It could be that there are more, um, in which case there might be 
more than the number of imports because there might be secondary cases. Mm. In Singapore, for example, mm -hmm. which detected, I don't remember the exact number, but quite a number of cases uh, from travelers, also has had a number of secondary transmissions in spite of trying to take care of those travelers. Mm -hmm. So it's not, uh, it's not an easy thing. Okay. Okay, just the last question. Like uh, you also mentioned about uh, other countries that has uh, the below the ninety five percent predicted intervals, like Thailand and Cambodia, and how did they respond to your uh, findings so far? Is it the same? Uh, in Cambodia, I should say, is depending on exactly how you do the model, is maybe below or maybe right on the prediction mm -hmm. interval, and maybe within. <clears throat> so it's a little bit less of a clear signal. Mm -hmm. I have heard, heard nothing from any other country. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. Mm, okay, I think that's all I need to ask. Maybe you want to say something? Yeah, about? just in conclusion that this, uh, once again, uh, is meant to be a helpful uh, signaling of something that needs to be looked at. Mm -hmm. um, and we would be very happy to, to try to be helpful in other ways. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, the other thing to say is that if indeed there are cases uh, in Indonesia now, then the best response is not to keep working on tracking in importations, it's to, work, it's to look for where they might be circulating in the country mm -hmm. already, because mm -hmm. the more cases there are from import, uh, sorry, mm -hmm. the more cases there are locally, the less it matters whether there are imports. Mm -hmm. So this, the, although we were saying uh, that imports may have been missed, the solution is not to crack down on imports, it's to look for uh, look for local transmissions. Yeah, that's a very insightful information. Yeah. Thank you so much, Professor. Okay. Thank you very much for. Uh, yeah.